Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to X Rebirth, where right now we just entered the High Scholar sector of this uh, Argon territory and my god, this is the most beautiful area we've found yet. I mean, already this part of space, this new star system, has just been so much more beautiful than the previous ones. But look where we are now. We're dangling over a planet. It's just gorgeous. Look at this place. It is just amazing. And we are about to uh, head up to that dock up there where we're supposed to meet with this CEO guy, I guess. So let's just fly right on up and dodge everything. Let's not get killed here. But first, take a look back at the beautiful scenery. I mean, just... just Look at the beauty. It's... it's glorious. Ha! Ah, it almost makes up for the bugs. <laughs> okay, let's uh, head in to talk to this guy. Alright, there we go. Hello, police. How are you? Don't worry, we don't have any contraband. Yet. At least I don't think so. We, we might. I don't know what's legal in your system. Requesting permission to dock. Yes, they always give us permission to dock unless they hate us. So, let's move. Let's go talk to uh, Neil Colburn. All right, and hold off on looting anything for now. Watch my ship, buddy. I don't want anything to happen to it. Okay. Okay. I, I, I think he understands. All right. So, yeah, a few differences. The hangar bay still annoys me that it's the exact same hangar bay no matter where we are. But it is cool, at least, that they do change up the stations a little bit, depending on what sector you're in. Which is nice. It would be nice to have a little more variety. Lovely. No fish? No, no fish. Though we've got a small crashed ship in the water. That's some sort of an Easter egg that I, I, I don't get the reference of. Probably is. Okay, so let's go talk with this guy. Is he... yes in here. Alright. Hello, sir. How are you? Wonderful. You're here sooner than I expected. Well, I'm, Neil Colbert, I'm pretty quick. CEO of John Foucault. Your Hello, shirt Charlie. is very How glowy. I don't want to keep you long. I understand oh, I'm sure you, you do. Quite the journey from Albion. Yeah. I hear that a took a while. War has broken out between different Just factions. Just a small there. war. I expect the Argon Navy ordered you not to interfere. For pretty now. Much. For now. You expect them to help us. The military are scared. Why? They're the military. Potential enemies on both sides, but I know they're yes, allies. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yes, more likely allies. I'll be on again and try to find old friends. And this they're not Plutarch friends, are they? Is peace. So far, the Argon Navy has supported your story. Well, there we didn't Argon lie. There are and Terran citizens stranded in a Devries sector with a Plutarch yes. flotilla guarding the gate. Pretty and much. threatening approaching ships. It seems to me that your people are the only ones worth dealing with. Well, We're we are open nice. For new trade agreements, but this conflict isn't going to die down. Plutarch is pretty evil. I doubt the Xenon are going anywhere soon. I'll make arrangements to send a goodwill freighter to the Cantoran yes. sector. It's can we so lead it? Since we've had a new trade route. If you can get us clearance to enter Devries, I'm sure we can help smooth things over. I we can help. Have it any other way. I'll see Excellent. You Thank you. Lovely. Okay, let's see. So, how did Xeon get here? It's a long time since we've had a conversation tree. Trust Bayes not to tell you that our mortal enemy is already in our laps. Yeah, that would have been good to know. The gate opened up several weeks ago, leading to some strange system, very ominous and unwelcoming. Wow, nice. Maelstrom, we call it. Oh, that's that's always a good name. <laughs> that it was in fact inhabited until recently. How recently? There were functional highways, shipwrecks of familiar designs. Uh oh. No signs of life. The military Except must for have artificial set a fleet. life. Half of our forces were sent in. The remainder waited behind in case something jumped directly back to. And I'm guessing they did. The gate. These were invasion tactics we saw during the Terran conflict. The exploring force found stations of familiar design, but once again, no signs of life. Then they were. Yeah, that's up. not good. They focused on engines and jump drives first, making escape near impossible. It's a gutsy okay. move to strand a whole Argon fleet on your own doorstep, but the Xenon did the maths and they knew they could win. That's they not a good thing. Did. We lost a lot of people that day, even some ex Terran pilots. Those decades together made us strong. But it seems to have allowed others to become even stronger. It would seem so. Admiral Lido. So Bayes took over command of the military. 
She's way out of her depth. Is she now? Okay, so what to do a John Furco specialize in? We focus on developing new technology and maintaining ships and stations. Interesting. Many ships use our engines and power systems. Since so you got a monopoly. Down, I'm guessing. And supply lines were cut. We have had to shift focus towards more efficient designs. I'm quite proud of how well we've handled our isolation. Yeah, you guys Monster do seem to have done pretty well for yourself. One of the largest corporations with economic ties to several species across dozens of systems. I hope our other branches have fared as well as we have. They aren't Plutarch, are they? <laughs> I'm going to keep bringing this up. I don't like them. Okay, uh, what can we do to help? And, um... No, 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 what can we do to help? We will not be able to open trade to DeVries until the military feel that they've secured the area. Okay, we fair will enough. We this time to prepare. There are other corporations here who will jump at the chance to open new trade routes. I'm sure they would. Invite competition? There is little competition here, unfortunately. Each corporation has its own area of expertise. Uh, so you're all monopolies. We need food aid. That is the area of the Chow Corporation. Start with them. Okay. Are they convincing? I expect they are already making plans to exploit the new gate connection. Good to know, good to know. What we need is a united front with all of the major corporations in agreement. It will be harder for the military to say no. And good old military industrial complex. <laughs> when making joint <laughs> trade runs. Oh, uh, lovely. Sounds like okay. a nice idea. It is. Let's just hope other corporations see it the same way. Leave the other CEOs to me. What you should do is to help raise the profile of your Heart of Albion faction. Yes, I like this. Corporations, and they will be more likely to help you. Uh, okay. I'll send you some tips on how to get into their good books. Thank I you. would appreciate it. The sooner it. we get aid to DeVries, the better. It goes without saying. Be careful out there, and the best of luck. Though why do these corporations need convincing, considering the Heart of Albion people are the remnants of the Argon military? In Albion. Uh, I would think they would be more welcoming. Okay, but that's all we need for now. Thank you. Okay, so return to the ship. One. Oh, no, 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 not four. I meant five. There we go. Five. There we are. So We're back we out. On on one side and on yeah. We are running errands for corporations who don't want to help us. Not Hope yet. Not yet. They'll come around. Whoop. We're, We're moving. The Chow Corporation. Okay, so now we're going to be trying to rub elbows with corporations, and we have to fly to Everlasting Warden. All right. Okay, I hope we don't have to fly much farther from there. Let's try not to hit that antenna. There we go. And... Oh, oh missed it. <laughs> oh, I thought I stopped the boost soon enough, but nope. All right, come on, let's... Get close. Oh, we gotta leave the highway in 600 kilometers. Okay, let's get behind these folks. Uh, you wouldn't know you're not it, though I like your station too. Ah, oh, I really do love this new area of space. It is just so, so much more beautiful than the others, and your ship is making some weird sounds. Uh, have you had it serviced recently? I don't want to be behind a uh, junker out here. Alright, let's uh, jump over here. There we go. A little bit faster. Uh, no, this isn't our exit. Wow, big area. A lot of people out this way. I like it. like it much better than Albion and uh, DeVries. So much more colorful. Not as dark as Albion or as orange as DeVries always was. That, uh... Orange always kind of annoyed me. All right, where are we heading? Okay, Yo, just... Tommy. Oh, hello! I'm Drew Haswell from Chow Security. How are you doing? John Furco sent word that you were coming to us for freelance work. Indeed. Let's say we put that versatile ship of yours to good use All right. in one of several possible areas. One of several, huh? Of course I'd prefer you're giving me you options. keep Chow facilities and ships safe. Yes. Are you having Xenon trouble? Not as much as other companies. That's good to know. They don't seem very interested in food. 
Well, yeah, they are artificial. And they are? Some call them an extremist anti-Terran group. Interesting. They've made no friends here over the years, and so resort to raids to sustain their operations. Okay. nothing more than to hit easy freighters heading for Terran residential areas. Well, that's not very nice. I'll send you there first. A freighter is already set to leave. Stay close okay. To it and oh God, an escort mission. Ships. God no. Oh. waiting for us. I hate escort missions. Let's get going. Sitting still gets you killed. Yes, way. it does. All right. Well. Oh no. Oh no. How how long is this going to take? I really dislike escort missions in any game ever built. They're always just so, so horrible. <laughs> um, okay. I'm a little worried about actually recording this whole segment. I don't know. Uh, oh my god, this thing is slow. I don't know how long this is going to take us just to even get to the freaking space highway. Oh no. <laughs> So yeah, don't be surprised if all of a sudden uh, this video starts fast forwarding. <laughs> I might decide in uh, while editing this that uh, it's this whole segment is not worth uh, viewing normally. But you never know; maybe something will happen quickly. Well, it's kind of annoying because at this level of my thrust, I fall behind, but at this level. I start going too fast and overtake him. So <laughs> Let's go grab this real quick over here so we can have some information. There we are. Where'd you go? There you are. Hi. Bofu Star Comp... Oh, no, wait. I am clicked on the wrong thing. Gigorum <laughs> Energy... Wait, it's an energy freighter? I thought we were transporting food. Why is this an energy freighter? That seems odd. Is Chow lying to us? Probably. They're a corporation. What do you expect? Yeah, it does look like we are heading straight in for this uh, space highway here. Hopefully I can follow just right behind and follow in his wake. Because, yeah, I can't really leave him if I'm escorting this guy. And hopefully he doesn't have far to go. That would be nice. But with my luck, we've got a space highway trip and maybe a trip into another sector, and if so, that's gonna be... Oh, God. It's so... So annoying, and I just kinda bumped him a bit. Alright. Here we go. Just, uh, catch up here a little. He is about to head in. Come on. Make it into the space highway. There you go. A little more. Little more, buddy. Who's a good energy freighter? Come on. And... Bumped him again. Just go in. There we are. And... Following him. Excellent. Oh, my. Oh, I want to get behind them. But no, <laughs> I'm stuck with the energy freighter. <laughs> oh, this is... This is going to be fun. So how are all of you doing today? This uh, may take a while. Let's have a chat. <laughs> okay, so I'm still wondering why in the world this is an energy freighter. We're working with a food company. Oh, I want to shoot him. <laughs> well, with my luck, I'd accidentally shoot the uh, energy freighter and then things would not be going well for me. Okay. Hopefully we don't have to travel far with this. I'm really hoping we don't have to go to an entirely different system or anything like that. That would be very, very annoying with how slow that this ship is just for getting in and out of uh, space highways. It took uh, plenty of time for it to get from the station to this one. I don't want it really changing space highways on us. That would not, that would not be fun. That would not be fun at all. Hold on, he's not even storing anything! What the? Oh dear! What are we? What are we escorting? <laughs> We're escorting an energy ship from a food company, and it's empty. What? I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> oh, but at least we're in a more beautiful system now. 
Even the ships look nicer. More sleek. Though I do kind of like the more uh, blocky feel of the Terran ships. They are quite nice. I like those. These ones are much newer. More recently built, it seems, than the other areas. But a bit too smooth for my taste. Oh, hello. Entering oh, I see an enemy. Um, should I go after it or just follow him? I don't. I have no idea where he's going. I'll stay close. I don't want to suddenly go off to fight something and then have him enter uh, another space highway and leave me behind. <laughs> Granted, I could easily catch up, but still. He's going into another space highway, isn't he? Yes, he is. Oh my. Oh my. Um... Yeah, I'll bring you guys back when something actually happens. I'm not even going to bother recording this stuff. I'll just pause the video and uh, bring you back once hopefully some shooting occurs. Because otherwise I have a feeling I'm just going to be following this guy for a while. So yeah, see you in a sec. Okay, bringing you back after about 30 minutes of following this ship. I'm not even joking. Uh, we've gone through several space highways, even jumped into an entirely new sector, and I just brought you back because I saw that ship right there in the distance was an enemy, but it is no longer targetable. So I'm, I'm guessing things are about to happen, but I'm not completely sure. Uh, well, actually, yeah, I'm pretty confident it is now because we're not heading towards those space highways over there. It looks like we're heading towards this, uh large asteroid with colony stuff in it that we were fighting those Xenon uh, uh, enemies in last episode. And, yeah. I'm really, really hoping that's the case. Because, oh my god, this has been so boring. Look at how slow this is. I am going... the If I go any slower, I'm at a standstill. And this speed is what I've been going for most of the time with this ship. Occasionally, up to this one. But then I catch up too quickly. And then I'm back to here. <laughs> oh my god, it's so slow. Why? Why would you create a mission like this where I'm just following behind this thing for a half a freaking hour with nothing happening? That is like the worst pacing ever. Please, please tell me that this asteroid is your final destination and that something, anything, is going to happen. I... I Honestly, at this point, I don't care if the pirates or raiders or whatever in the world you call them blow you up. I've been tempted to. Seriously, in the last space highway, I was like, this close to shooting him. Okay, we've got someone down there. No, that's a food trader. I want to click him. Yeah, riot squad. Heretic Vanguard. All right, you know what? I'm going to go shoot him because I can. Fire a missile! Oh no, that's not missile, that's drones. Fire a missile! Come on! Come on! Take him down. My missiles seem to be taking a lot longer than normal. Ah, yeah, your mistake, buddy. There we go! Aha! Fly to Chow energy ship. Yes, 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 yes. Blah, blah, blah. I killed pirates! Yes, you're welcome. See how quickly I can get back to you? You don't need to complain. And yes, Chow is happy with me now. Yay, alright. And we killed someone, finally! <laughs> oh my god. Why, why, why did they... At least, you know what, I would have been... I would not be quite as bothered if this was like a normal large capital-sized freighter. Because then I could just... Fall. I, I don't, wouldn't even have to do anything. I could just sit here close to it and its wake would pull me along. But since this is a ship that's really no bigger than mine, I don't get that wake effect. As a matter of fact, if I get too close, this happens. Whoop! And I get bounced off by some sort of a invisible wall. So, <laughs> I have no idea. But, um, yeah. We've just been following this guy. For a long, long time. Oh, why? where are you going? I would have figured he'd be going in there. He still may be. The ship has a tendency to go in one way and then turn for a gate. And, you know, be going another way at that point. It's been kind of annoying. Because I've, I've been typically 
looking at what direction he's heading, flying that way, and then waiting for him to get there. <laughs> but, um... I have no idea what he's doing now. I mean, that's... Over there's the... The mining colony, I guess. I don't know exactly what this is. Let's go investigate while we're <laughs> waiting for him. So it's Argon government. Can I fly through this? Oh, I don't know if I want to try to fly through that. Actually, what the heck? Let's try. I somehow doubt I will be able to... Oh, no, I can. Safe enough now. Thanks for the help, skunk. Really? Really? Seriously? And all I got for that was a one-point increase? Oh, my. Are they? So now you're going to want me to shoot things. Okay. Fair enough. Ooh, a destroyed ship. Are they preparing a full invasion? Could what be. What chance do we have? Emergency talks with Plutarch are trying to bring them into the conflict, but it's not Ooh. very good. It seems they're Why are you talking with Plutarch? To burn, followed closely by DeVries, the utter fools. I won't even bother explaining why it's a bad idea involving Plutarch. Yeah, really bad idea. I'm surprised they're looking out only for themselves. Plutarch always had trouble seeing past their own needs. I hope they Understandable. will change for the better. No, no, they're pretty evil. Some days I wish I had never become involved in Albion. That system is nothing but ah. corporate corruption and death. I like him more. Uh-oh. Oh, time. Borman's your friend. Okay, I like you now. And I hope you'll be there to help hold it shut. We'll be there. Tell yeah, where to go. sure. What the heck? <laughs> All right. Um. There we go. We got a marker fly to double junction i'm tempted to continue doing this for this episode because nothing really happened in this one i mean i've been following that ship for 30 minutes and i we didn't run into any resistance except for one guy i went out of my way to shoot so i kind of i kind of want to go to wherever this mission is and i think i am so i'm gonna cut off again here for a moment and fly to where they're meeting up because I'm hoping we can see some action before this episode is over. Oh my god, I would love to see some sort of action in this right now because, again, half an hour following that ship for nothing. Hello, freighter that's in the middle of the highway. How are you? So, yeah, I'll bring you guys back again in a little bit. Okay, bringing you back already as we're exiting the highway here in about 400 kilometers. So I'm guessing we're about to start up on this mission here, which would be lovely. Hopefully something fun will happen. I'll get to shoot something. Because, yes. Seriously, half an hour on that trade mission. That really got to be. Bothered me. All right, there we go. Entering. Hello, large capital ship. I really want one of you. I will steal you one day. Skunk, I'm surprised well, hello. To see you here. Your people hardly seem the type to help defend the Federation. Plutarch is hey man, I like a good fight. Part of Albion is too weak to aid us, and the Cantarans are afraid to leave their scorched sector. They're fighting their own war. You can't expect them to leave their strongholds. Got a the point. Are through that gate, ready to invade Omicron Luray and overrun us in days. Uh, that's However, not good. They learn of the other systems, they will spread themselves thin, and we can then pick them off one by one. You wouldn't so dare. You, you, if oh, you that's, Albion, that's horrible. Danger. It's only a matter of time before they find Albion, but by then, it will be too late for us. By luring the Xenon to spread their forces, we can weaken them and also bring that's kinda evil. into the conflict. You're insane. You have yeah, a choice. little bit. Aid us in attacking their infrastructure to end this war sooner, or hold back and kill any Xenon which get through the gate. There are no oh my. Other options. We're staying right here. The longer this position is held, Wait, what? the longer the Xenon. I want to go through and Albion. attack them. It'd be you fun. Hit them hard because if we lose anyone in Albion because of you, you'll have more than Xenon to worry about. You'll have me. Prepare yourselves. They're on their way. Okay. Can you believe this? Our own I actually can. Leading the Xenon to Albion? They need to be warned. I'll send a data burst, but I don't know who will pick it up. 
Hopefully someone. Aha! Enemies! <laughs> Finally! Fire a rocket! Okay. Come on, rocket. Why is that those Sunstalkers not seeming to do anything anymore? <laughs> I, mean, I I haven't hit one of... Oh, no. Oh, it finally hit him. Let's get closer to him. Okay, so that missile finally did get to him. There we go. And time for you to die, Xenon. Oh, hi, more. How are all of you? Oh, lag. There we go. All right. We got some other fighters helping us out here. Cool. Getting some nice combat here. You're welcome. They're not raiders, though. They're Xenon. Whoop! There we go. On what damage they can do there. Too many ships are getting past. Be uh, not Just that many are getting past. And okay, got that one before it went into the space highway. Nice. All right, we've got more incoming. You're welcome. Wow, they're just trying to get through this uh, space highway here. Oh, hello. Oh, that one's probably going to get past me. Let's take out these ones that are for the closer towards the gate. And then I'll go after this one. Yes, 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 you can stop ta telling me that. Thank you for the, you know, reputation gain with you, though. That's nice. Okay, okay. There we go. That one down. You're welcome. All right, what do we get there? Ooh, some V-Crushers. Not that they really help me against Xenon. Okay, yeah, seriously, you can you can stop telling me that now. I know. <laughs> okay. Yes, 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 I understand. Ow! You scratched my paint. Where are you? There you are. Okay. There we go. That one's down. Oh, there's one. No, not you. I want him. Oh, you got him. Oh, hello. Where in the world you come from? Okay. Why? I'm doing pretty good. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. That would be nice. Haha. Okay. So they're wanting me to retreat again. Why do they always want me to retreat? All on our own here. We can't defend the system. At I don't know. We're doing a pretty good job right now. The Xenon production. Even if you say. Let's just take out this guy. Oh, my gun's... No, no, my gun's not overheating. I just... Mouse must have slipped or something. There we go. Yes. Lovely. I'm not seeing anymore. Oh, he's going through the gate. Look at that. Beautiful. I really want one of those ships. They're just glorious. Why is it not jumped? You'd think it would have by now. <laughs> it's like halfway through the jump gate. Uh, interesting. So I guess they don't have to go through the jump gate. Wait for it. He's slowing. Wow, he just kind of... Oh, nope, there he goes. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, why is he not going through? Interesting. But all right, so even though we took a very large Xenon attack and pretty much stopped in its tracks here, we killed them all, we're once again being told to retreat, story and so forth. Oh, we're just docking there, though. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, going to be it for this episode. We talked to a CEO, followed a freighter for a very long freaking time, and then attacked some Xenon, or rather defended from some Xenon. Yeah, either way, it was good fun. And yeah, in the next episode, I guess we're going to be gearing up for a counter-offensive into Xenon territory, which sounds like a whole lot of fun. 
I'm going to need more sun stalkers. But yes, I'll, I'll purchase those in between episodes, and I hope you come back for that counterattack. It should be entertaining, I hope. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. <laughs>